between our new HDL 30s and HDL 20s, so here are the 30s. Fly bars are pretty similar. The biggest difference is going to be where we actually pick up. It's a lot bigger. You still have an A and a B option though. Uh, there's a few more holes for angles if you have to do significant angles. They have a place for you to tie off your cables, which is pretty nice. The place where you can put the option for the inclometer. But pretty much besides that, the fly bar is going to be about the same. They have the real nice feet that are on the bottom of them if we need to stack. And then we'll go over to this fly bar. So you can see compared side by side, they're pretty similar. Uh, it's a little bit longer, not much, on the 30s, but still the same feet for the 20s. Same type of bar here that you can position and hang back up into here. Uh, definitely a smaller shackle that comes with it and a smaller uh, connection for the shackle. Not really sure what to call that. But uh, the cabinets, of course, we got the rain covers on ours. So on these, you've ended up, you've got the push button options with XLR in, XLR out. You've got the power con in, power con out. They're both 6.3 amps. The rain covers on the 20s will not fit the 30s. We're really hoping they would, where we could use them for some outdoor stuff. But um, on these, you've got the option where you can push in and you go through all the different options of cluster size and whether you want it to be close, medium, far, and then you just push it back in. Uh, you'll hit bypass if you're using RDNet. If you ever forget the key, it's written on the cabinet for how many modules and if you want it to be close, medium, far, or high distance. And uh, on our rigging here, um, you end up having, this is going to be for the locking side, and it has the key for your suspension side over here. So that's kind of saying if you're here at 0.2 degrees, you need to go ahead and put your locking at 0.2 as well. Rigging's a lot cooler on the HDL 30s. It has these bars that you can slide on. So we can go ahead and position on the other side whatever angle that we need to. So if we wanted to go ahead and set these at 10 degrees and then the next one at 8 degrees, whatever you want to, while it's laying on the cart, you could go ahead and have the angle set. And as you lift it, it's going to take the angle shape that you want. HDL 20s, flyware is a little bit different. It's a little bit more old school, but it's definitely a lot easier than any other line array we fold with. Don't have nearly as many options. You used to have 0, 4, 8, 12, and 15. So on these, you have to lift up and pin it. So you'd have to have somebody to help assist to get it lifted up and get everything exactly the way you want it. Uh, as far as the rest of the cabinet though, not much of a difference. Still have the same handle design, the same composite cabinet, which is really nice whenever it does rain. Uh, the only main difference is going to be the flyware portion of it and going to be the, uh, the grill type surface that you have for the radiator for the back. So the front grill is a little bit different. So on our 20s you can notice it's a very small holes and there's still the foam that's in the background and uh, you can see we've got a round RCF logo and on our 30s it's very large porous holes still have the foam behind it and they went with a square logo. So just kind of a new look, and we'll do them side by side, that way you can see the difference here. And now we're gonna take a listen to them. So I'm gonna leave them down on the ground, that way we can just kind of get down on our knees for you to hear it, and uh, it's just gonna make it a little bit better for you guys. So we're gonna be listening to these. We're gonna be starting off with the HDL 20s, and uh, this is gonna be one of our copyright songs. These are the 20s, now we're going to go to the 30s. Back to the 20s. 
twenties. What a fool I was to think I could get by. Now back to the thirties. With only these few million tears I cried. Now back to the twenties. And I should have known the worst was yet to come. Had just begun. Now back to the twenties. Cause today I started loving. You can tell there's definitely a huge drop off on the twenties. Now back to the thirties. And I'm right back where I've really always been. So definitely a huge intelligibility difference. I got over you. So don't go down nearly as far as the low frequency. So they're doing a good job. So a big difference we're going to have is on the HDL 30s, a lot more uh, fidelity for vocals, and surprisingly enough, the high frequencies are even more controlled, which is surprising with that four-inch horn. 20s are still great cabinets, but there's definitely a reason that these 30s cost more than the 20s. And they're separate cabinets. I mean, they've got their own purposes. Still great cabinets. We're still going to use them for many things, but we're really excited to have 24 of these guys that we're going to start using in productions. And uh, a pair of the 50s that we've got very well, too. So we're going to listen to some vocals and let you guys hear now those. Now we're going to start out with the HDL 20s, letting you guys hear uh, just vocal reproduction. We're using a Sennheiser uh, 865 just to kind of let you hear the difference in vocals. So we'll start out with the 20s here. HDL 20, check 1, 2, check 1, 2, HDL 20, on, check 1, 2, switching to the HDL 30 here, HDL 30, check 1, 2, check 1, 2, on, check 1, 2, HDL 30, switching to the HDL 20, check 1, 2, on, check 1, 2, on. Switching back to the HDL 30. Check 1, 2. HDL 30. 1, 2. Uh. Check 1, 2. Check 1, 2. Switching back to the HDL 20. Check 1, 2. HDL 20. Check 1, 2. Switch. So on that, you can kind of tell, again, those FR filters are helping out a lot, and that 4-inch horn helps out a lot, too. So the HDL 30s, you can tell that everything kind of hits you all at the same time. A lot more low frequency intelligibility, and you can just tell with a lot more clarity what's going on in the HDL 20s. So don't get me wrong, the 20s still sound great. We've been using them for a while and uh, had great luck. We haven't ever had anybody say no to them on the rider. We just put as many aside as they need to make it work. But I'm really excited to use these in uh, real life applications with bands. So uh, we'll let you know as soon as we start using them, which will be very soon. We'll get some more footage and put some more videos out. If you guys need any good prices on gear, we're selling a few of the 20s. You can give us a call. And uh, anything else you need, just let us know too. We've got a lot of them in stock. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.